Welcome to Safety Minute. On our last installment of this, I talked about engineering controls and how when you get into a situation where um, the best thing to do is eliminate the problem, engineering controls and making the entire problem not a field problem is really the most safe thing you can do. One of the examples of that, and one of the biggest classic examples of just fundamentally changing how safe our technicians are, is rethinking the way that transformers are switched. Most transformers that you've seen, like this one behind here, <coughs> are designed to never really be switched much in their life. They get turned on once and they don't really turn off and on. In power generation, so in renewables and building wind turbines and most things like that, oftentimes we're turning transformers off and on for maintenance and for other activities that you wouldn't normally do for your plant. And keep in mind, the ones at the plant still occasionally get turned off and on. Now, what people don't understand is that turning those transformers off and on is a major safety endeavor and it's a high risk activity. So. I'm going to show you both the way that it used to be done and the way that we've engineered that problem out. So first of all, for safety and for demonstration purposes, this transformer is sitting in the yard. It's one of our spare transformers. It's not connected to anything, but we're going to go ahead and act like it is for switching. Now, the way the transformer works is you have a low voltage side and a high voltage side and the switch to disconnect this transformer is on the high voltage side. And the only way to get to it is by opening up both doors, exposing yourself to the low voltage, and exposing yourself to the high voltage. And to do that, you have a huge arc flash risk. That arc flash risk is something that we have to protect workers from with safety clothing. If we're following the rules and going through the procedures, if we don't have a better engineering control in the first place. So when we talk about what that clothing is, people need to understand that what we call it is a bomb suit. And essentially, we're putting on a suit designed to take a large explosive impact if during that switching operation we're exposed to the conductors and the things that might arc, arc and flash has a failure and literally explodes. That's measured in calories per centimeter squared. But that number is, you know, essentially when you're talking 40 calories per centimeter squared, you're talking about a stick of dynamite going off 15 or 20 feet away. These are real impacts. So um, I'm going to first show you what this looks like to actually properly suit up put on my entire 40 cal suit, and then go ahead and open the transformer and go through there. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, we saw how efficient that was. You can hear the echo now. I'm now in a full 40 cal arc flash suit, or as we call it, a bond suit. Now is when I'm ready to be able to actually open this transformer and do the switching. I have to use this hot stick to be far away. So not only am I opening myself to this hazard, I then have a nine foot hot stick to be far away and then I'm in a full bomb suit. So this is what it would look like. Keep in mind, this is not an energized transformer. This is the low voltage side of the transformer. This is where right now I'd be exposed to live conductors also gets foggy and hard to see inside this suit, which is never fun. This is the high voltage side. This is where right now you'd see actually connected high voltage connectors. And then the disconnect switch is usually right about here inside this suit or inside this transformer. So now I'm going to be standing back trying to hook this into it. I'm gonna come up here, I'm ready. Stand by to close, closing, closed. Hoping that everything works out safe. Then I get to go ahead and do the exact same thing when I'm turning the transformer back on. Anytime you're in this much safety gear as an engineer, you have to ask yourself what's wrong. So let's think about how to eliminate this problem in the first place. Let me get this gear off. I hate wearing that suit. First time I had to do that, and I understood the risks, had been through all the training, had my bomb suit on, did the whole thing, and I don't care who you are and how many times you've done it, you always wonder when you throw that switch, are you about to feel a boom and are you about to be part of a big old explosion? And I said to myself the first time, how on earth is this a system? So we set out to make it not the system. What we realized was that from the design point of that transformer, 
there's absolutely no reason the switch had to be inside. The switch used to be inside because a lot of these transformers were closed, never accessed. That's just the way the utilities did it. It was all well locked up. It doesn't make any sense anymore, especially not in power generation. So the first thing we did is we said, okay, level one engineering solution. How do we get out of the path of the hazard? Instead of standing right here in a bomb suit, how do we stand 30 feet that way? So we actually have a patent on a device that bolts to the existing arm, goes through the wall of the transformer, and can be retrofitted to old transformers. You can see that patent on the patent page on our site. And then you can have a rope that's non-conductive, and you can be 30 feet that way to throw the transformer. And that way, if it does have an accident, you're 30 or 40 feet away. All of a sudden, you don't have to be in the bomb suit. All of a sudden, you can wear normal clothes. That changed everything. Then we challenged ourselves and said, okay, that's how we retrofit existing stuff, but we're still just solving a problem that shouldn't exist. How do we solve that problem to where it's never a hazard in the first place? How do we completely take that worker out of that high risk situation? To solve that, we took a different approach. We said, what if we just redesigned the way the transformers worked on the inside? And we worked with the manufacturers, and we now order all of our transformers with that switch no longer on the inside, but on the outside, where there's a whole bunch of steel from the transfer wall between us and it. So, I'll bring you around over here, and I'll show you where we move the switch to. Now, instead of being in front of the transformer with the doors open, we can have all the doors closed and properly sealed, and we can have all of our switching done on the outside of the transformer. All the transformer manufacturer had to do was reroute things to the outside. Now, this box, which is still a NEMA-rated box, it gets open with a screwdriver. You can put a lock on it so it's still secure. And now we have all of our pressure gauges, our oil temperature gauges, and our open and close switch all located on the outside. So instead of having that load brake switch on the inside, it's now on the outside. Now, all of a sudden, the entire situation changes. Now, I'm not directly exposed to that arc flash. I'm not exposed to conductors. And I can do all of my switching standing out here, not exposed to that hazard. So all I have to do now is, and I can use a small uh, tool if I want to, usually just for mechanical advantage, we grab that exact same stick that we still use. We stand back like this. And from here, now nine feet away from where the blast would be, we're able to just say, same thing, stand by to open, opening, open, and the entire situation is gone, done. We're able to do it in our normal PPE. We aren't in a full bomb suit to do it because we aren't exposed to the risk the bomb suit's trying to mitigate. So, with engineering controls, we took one of the most dangerous, high-risk things we do and completely eliminated the problem. And, by the way, you can order this from most transform manufacturers now. So, I encourage everybody, look at the engineering controls you can implement to get rid of the problem. Never, ever, ever order a transformer with a switch on the inside again. Thank you for enjoying this uh, safety minute. We look forward to talking to you on the next one.